Welcome back and thanks for sticking with me on building the Black Pearl. In this segment, I'm going to delay working on the ship itself because I had to order some planking. There's not near enough planks to, uh, to finish the ship, so I have that ordered. So instead, I'm going to work on the cannons and these small lifeboats. And oh my goodness, are these fragile. And the one thing that I discovered for sure, part number, I think it's C14, are what are supposed to be the planks. And this is made out of a very thin, layered, like plywood. And to soak that in water and then bend it, they just all disintegrated. They fell apart, came unglued. Now, I was able to glue a couple of them together. I was not happy with it. Fortunately, I had in the past purchased several small sailboats, and this is what I started building in the beginning. And these are less than $20. I have a whole series of videos trying to build this. But I had leftover planks that are solid wood. And you can see these. This is uh, what they were. No problem with these whatsoever. So let me show you what I was able to do. To give you an idea where you start on the lifeboats, the very front, which will be to the screen's right, is lowercase d19. It connects to the main support underneath the boat that is D16 and then it goes to the back of the ship and connects to D17 and that's that piece that goes up in the back. Very tiny pieces but it gets even more difficult. Before I get too much further along you know how I said you really need to have a cabinet to keep all the parts in? Well let me make one correction. When it comes to these small lifeboats you're much better off leaving them on the card and cutting them out as you go. Fortunately I had only cut out one. Here's the pieces up here. But they're just too tiny and too fragile. So I just go off the worksheet and there's only one segment marked but then all the, the little lifeboats are the same. So one has the numbers marked on it. The rest are blank. So you use that as a guide. Once you get the main support for the uh, lifeboat connected, then you can start putting these uh, framing. The only thing you might want to do is make sure that you can get the floor in. The lifeboats are so intricate, it is almost impossible to not break pieces. Like I broke this little piece off that goes here. These little sections are like floorboards that somehow go underneath that top support and lay on those, I'll call them bones. So that's what I'm trying to get in there now. Believe it or not, I did get some of the floorboards in there. Just uh, my recommendation would be to somehow put them in before you put these cross supports on top. Now, this is not very straight or lined up, but I'll make the best of it, hopefully. There are three of these to be made, so this was just my first one. This is my second attempt. It's going a little better, and fortunately I haven't put all the crossbars in yet, so I'll be putting that uh, those floorboards in here shortly. What I was able to do so far is super glue just the very front of both sides and then once that dries I'll pull these in and try and make it tighter and then I'll see if I can somehow do some planking on the sides, undersides. <coughs> and once I get it secured here on the back and pulled in a little tighter then I'll try and do planking on this underside. Quite the challenge on these uh, little dinghies for sure. 
and next is the top rail and it's part number 20 that you can see around on this it's the top I already have it cut out I had it marked number 20 right up here but again once I started doing this on these smaller parts I realized nope this this is too fragile so there's two for each lifeboat and I'll see if I can somehow get that on there here's one of the lifeboats that I put together and these supports they're not lined up well at all so what I've been able to do is take a rotary tool and sand those down and get them fairly close so I'll start that on this one With the planks that I retrieved from my other ships that I built in the past, I cut them down to size, I've soaked them in water. So I have a new tool, and it's a plank bending tool, and that's what I used to preform these. Worked pretty well. So it's got a couple different angles. The one I have been using is the softer one. Again, this is similar to a soldering iron. I've had those soaking for quite a while. Just to give you an idea, probably soaked them for an hour, but it was just in lukewarm water. I normally put it in hot water. You can see how that's shaped and then I can get an idea if that's how I want that and I just need to bend the back side a little bit. I've also used this end of it, the tighter curve, and you just kind of rest it on there and then rock it back and forth. I'm just going to show you for a tighter bend. And I'm just going to hold it there for a little bit and you can see now I have a tighter curve. And this will probably still work on the ship because once you you uh, get it bent you can shape it just a little bit but you can tell already that's going to work fine. So I'm very happy with the new plank bending tool. This is one that after I finished doing the planking this has so far turned out the best. I'm still sanding this one. You can see that there's gaps and it's uneven on that side. That's not where I've sanded. But then after I do some sanding on it, it looks much better. And when I get that stained and it's setting kind of in a position like this, I think it'll look fine. So let me sand this a little more and show you how that turned out. Okay, here is my almost finished lifeboat. Not the best interior, but I'm pretty happy with the exterior. Just need to stain it. And there's some oars that go with it too. You know, there's some extra things I'll be doing, but that gives you an idea of what it can look like when you're done. And this one, it's shaped a little different. I must have put something together backwards so I'm still working on sanding these down so I can get the planks on there. These two small parts are D24 and D18, this lower case and it's the little steering mechanism for the back of the lifeboats and this will glue back here and then that little piece on top 
So what I've been doing is putting this little piece on top first. So that's kind of that. And then this gets glued on the back of the lifeboat. Try super glue on this. And that's kind of it. I've got a little chip out right there. I'll just uh, restain or a little black magic marker will cover that. Along with the lifeboats in this segment, I put together the cannons. And I did something a little bit different. On the wheels, it looked like a toothpick would be the right diameter, but my toothpicks were a little bit too big. So I had some very old copper wire. I have a brother-in-law that's an electrician. This came out of a very old house and I discovered that it just fits. So fortunately these just fit right on there really snug. And what I did is just kind of guesstimated the width and then I'd clip it off a little bit long. I need to make two axles. Here's all the pieces you need, the two side pieces and the base. So I put a little super glue. Turn this around here. And on the first one I can slip that wheel out right to the edge. And I won't have to snip it off. I'm going to drop a super glue on that side. The other axle. There's a little cutout that fits that diameter on each side. I think you can see that here now. And now I put the um, plate for the cannon to sit on. And the smaller angle goes towards the smallest side of the side rails. That wasn't in the instructions. Um, and for this, I can go ahead and just use the regular tacky gel. And again, I just put it on top of the axle, kind of a glob, and then I went ahead and put it on where it's going to contact the side piece. And then I can just rest this there and play with the positioning a little. And then I put a flat piece on the far side and then I can push these wheels inward. It's a little snug.
and that gives you your base. After this dries, I'll come along with these snips. Well, I can go ahead and I bet I can do it now. So I'm going to come along with these snips and cut this off flush. There's the base. I don't mind the little copper edge showing. I can darken that with this uh, Novacan black. That's what I did with the gun barrels. And in reality, there are several extras of these parts. So I could order some additional uh, cannons. And you can see underneath, now the back one's in a little closer than the the front where the uh, barrel extrudes out of the ship and I wasn't sure how that went but I would made some other smaller models and that's the direction that it said to go so I did a test and it, it did not look right by putting the smaller wedge to the front side of the cannon so it's definitely the small edge to the back the wider edge goes up front and there's my set of cannons my two lifeboats. I do have a third lifeboat to build. There's three that came with it. Um, oh, and one thing I didn't mention it does come with oars. I've been working on those a little bit because they're just kind of squared off so I've, I've sanded this down to a, a thinner on the paddle. I tried to round off the handles but I wasn't too successful there. The other thing I'm considering <coughs> The other thing I'm considering is using some of the copper and just pounding out the end, but so far that's that's not working out as well as I wanted. It needs to be a little smaller copper, but that is an option that you could do and it would look pretty good. So there's my oars. They still have to be stained. They'll go inside the little life raft. And I'll be ready to move on. The new planking should be in any time, so the next uh, video will feature some of that, I think. I think I'm ready to start planking, but I won't know till I get there because, as we all know, the instructions for this are pretty weak. But the little lifeboats are on this little C card and tells you what number the parts are. But on the parts themselves, that's this. There were three of these at different places on this particular placard, but you only get one identifying card. So you need to apply it to each different segment. It'll be self-explanatory once you start taking it apart. And these pieces, numbers 14 and 15, are supposed to be the planks for this. Again, I'll mention they did not work well at all. I had some other planks from a small sailboat that I had made and these work much better because this is solid wood not plywood. So that's it for today and although this has been difficult and it is difficult if you look up the price of a ship comparable to this you're talking several hundred dollars to say the least. So maybe the extra pain trying to figure it out on my own is worth it. Again, thanks for watching.